Has this happened to you? You get visitors to come to your website, but they don't do anything you want them to do. Your CTAs and lead magnets are all placed throughout the website, still no results. Should you change something? I mean, what are you doing wrong? This is where A-B testing comes into play. So let's jump straight into it. What is A-B testing and why does it matter? I like to look at A-B tests as marketing experiments, like a standard lab experiments where you need a hypothesis that you test and you document the results. But don't worry, wrong hypothesis won't make your laboratory explode. Essentially, A-B testing boils down to this. You split your audience into two or more groups and deliver different versions of your page or a website. After some time, you get useful data on how, why, and when somebody has done something on your website. This helps you prove your hypothesis. Or not. Sounds like a super nerdy stuff, but it's actually super simple. After all, not doing A-B tests with a proper methodology means missing out on valuable insights. But if you do everything right, you'll put a smile on many faces and turn your website into a money-making machine. From our personal experience, we found that there are three important steps to do any A-B test. You need to set up a proper hypothesis, use the right tech stack, and track the metrics and make changes. As we are currently running a couple of different A-B tests on our own personal marketing website, I will show them as an example and explain how we approach each step of this process. Step zero is setting up the proper hypothesis. The only way to benefit from A-B tests is to make proper assumption that is clear and testable. In one of our A-B tests, we wanted to see if our current call to action, Grow My Project, would perform better than a more common CTA you'll find across the web, such as Let's Talk. As this is a fairly simple test, our main goal was to see if switching our call to action would increase the number of people who visit the book a demo page or simply increase our call to action click-through rate. Depending on what you're testing at the time, objectives can differ and can include metrics such as increased conversion, but also reduce bounce rates or higher engagement rates. Having this said, it's important to identify the key performance indicators, KPIs, that will measure the success of hypothesis before starting your test. After this, we come to the step one, setting up the A-B test. Now that we knew what we wanted to test and which KPIs we would track, it's time to set up the test itself. Leveraging the right tools and technologies can be crucial for effective A-B testing. For this, we're using Webflow, Optibase and GA4 to create the control and the variant version of the web page. The main reason we would recommend this tech stack is because the development help is really minimal. Being a low code, no code tools, it will be easy for your marketers out there to set up everything without any dev help. I mean, first, Webflow has an intuitive interface and a robust features, making it an excellent choice for creating and testing website variants. It's easy to change copy or make content, design or layout changes without needing any help from your development team. Second, Optibase is a Webflow app designed specifically for A-B testing. And like personally, we've seen that Optibase integrates seamlessly with Webflow, making it easy to set up and manage tests without the need for developers. Alternatively, there are a lot of different A-B testing softwares that you can use, such as IntelliMaze, one of our long lasting clients that was actually purchased by Webflow a couple of months back. And the third thing is like Google Analytics 4 is gonna offer you advanced tracking capabilities and powerful reporting tools that are essential for analyzing A-B test results. And one thing to consider is that some of the tests you're running may need a bit more testing and the development work to be properly set up. While testing our CTA copy is something that our marketing team had done completely alone, the test that we're currently running on our pricing page was a bit more complex and required a little help from our dev team. Here, we had to duplicate a couple of components and pages and change the content and the links to gather the information that we were aiming for. So before you jump into any new test, be sure to determine all the needed components you will need. And if this is something you can do alone, or you will need somebody who has a little bit of more design or development knowledge to help you out. Step two, tracking results. Now that the hard lifting is done and your A-B test is live, your job is done. You can close your laptop, grab a drink and forget about everything. Well, just kidding. This is where your job as a marketer actually begins. Now that your website visitors are interacting with different variants of your page, your task is to track the data that the A-B testing software provides, adapt tests if needed, and make future design and strategy decisions based on the results. There are a couple of things to take into account when tracking these metrics. Ensure the test runs long enough for you to gather sufficient data. 
avoid ending the test prematurely, even if early results seem promising. Depending on the test and the number of people that your page or website is receiving is each day, this can vary. Even though there are pretty detailed processes to calculate the statistical significances of your results, this may not always be applicable, especially if you're running tests on a smaller scale. Having that in mind, Optibase has a very easy way of comparing the control and test variants and giving you data that you can use to make changes on your website or proceed with a version you originally implemented. For example, in the CTA test we mentioned, we got a 30% better CTR on our current call to action. So we concluded that we will not be changing it as it would cause a drop off in the number of visitors going to our book a demo page. If you want to learn more about how we're using our website to grow our agency and get 30 plus inbound leads each month, go watch our latest video down below.